Welcome to DPV, I'm Josh, and today I want to show you the newest Jeep to the fleet. All right, so this is a 2008 Jeep Grand Cherokee North Edition, and it's got the Quadra Drive to uh, four-wheel drive system, which is pretty dang awesome. And it's got the 3.0 turbo diesel. So gets pretty decent mileage for an SUV. Pretty good towing capacity. Uh, it can tow up to like 7,400 pounds, which is, I think, incredible for something this size. The Quadra Drive 2 system, so, I gotta be honest, back when I had my ZJ um, and these things came out, I dismissed them. I was like, that's not a real Jeep. And when you look at it, it's definitely soccer momish. But in researching this Jeep and that Quadra Drive 2, it's pretty dang awesome. And these things right out of the box are pretty dang capable. With the Quadra Drive 2 system, it's basically like this is like the Rubicon of Grand Cherokees. So basically, it's got like. Uh, when you put it in for low, it locks up the front and rear drive shafts, which that's nothing new. Jeep's been doing that since the original Quadra Track way back in the day. Um, but it's got electronic limited slip front and rear differentials in low range. So when you have any slippage, it will um, electronically transfer power to the wheel that needs it, which is pretty dang awesome. It's not just a braking system, it's actually in the differential, which is pretty dang sweet. And I've watched a ton of footage this week on how this system works and very, very impressive. I can't wait to test it out. It's definitely the uh, nicest daily driver I've ever had. It's got uh, leather interior, all touchscreen stuff I can hook to my phone, which, you know, old news for some of you guys, but for me, like, just having, like, a radio is an upgrade. So, uh, yeah, having all that, it's spo supposedly it's got navigation, but I haven't figured out how to work it yet. So, I'm trying to figure that out. There's still some features I don't know about this. Like, uh, what is, what does that button do? I don't know. It's got a Jeep pointing downhill. Um, and then there's a actual power outlet in here somewhere. So that turns that on. I have yet to find it. It's got real nice sound system. Which again, on my previous vehicles, uh, like there was a limit to how loud I could turn it on because the door panels would rattle and stuff. So it's nice having you know, a sound system that sounds good and doesn't rattle the heck out of everything. It's got a brake controller installed for um, towing, so that's pretty sweet. It's got a uh, sunroof, which is pretty dang awesome. I mean, it's not an open top Jeep, but having a sunroof is a pretty good compromise. I mean, I need something comfortable uh, to drive in the wintertime to work and stuff, so having an open top, soft top Jeep would be awesome in the summer, but it'd be probably pretty annoying most of the other times so this is a good compromise so I can you know see the sky above me and stuff which will be sweet yeah it's got the Milestar Patagonia uh, ATs I've seen a lot about the um, mud trains Patagonia mud trains so I'm excited to see how these all trains work um, we're definitely gonna be exploring here soon it's got skid plates front to rear gas tank key case engine and transmission fully skidded out and they're steel plates they're probably not sturdy enough to like bash on the rocks big time but there's some protection under there and like 
My plan for this, much like my plan was for the Blue Lander over there, um, is like a camping overlanding type rig. Um, and my daily driver. Number one, it's my daily driver. Number two, camping slash uh, overland type rig. And my plan in the beginning is to keep it stock as long as I can stand it. So I want I want to just get out there and explore and see like what it is I actually need to enjoy this thing. Because 95% of the trails around here are like a 3 out of 10 or, or lower. So um, there's a good chance that I don't need to modify this thing to go out and enjoy that. So if I find out that the places we're trying to go I'm scraping all the time, then yeah, I'll put a budget boost on it and uh, maybe one size bigger tire. But if I find out that I'm not scraping a whole bunch, um, then there's really no reason to uh, go any bigger. It'd be better to like build some rock sliders and uh, you know get a good bumper on the front with a winch and that kind of stuff instead of worrying about you know lifting it and just putting that extra strain on the drivetrain because uh, I really want to make this thing last as long as possible. So yep this is my new daily pretty excited about it uh, we'll be doing going on some adventures soon uh, maybe even this week there's a place uh, close by that um, I took the demo ranch Bronco when I was kind of testing things out um, that's got it a little bit off camber and stuff, whatever. It's like a kind of a full drive trail. And then right close to that is a place I've never been. Um, so it's a good, you know, 45 minutes out. I think it'd be a great first adventure in a new Jeep. But we do need a name for it. So it's got the diesel, it's North Edition, it's black. Um, I don't know, smoky? I'm not sure. Leave a comment below, what should we name this thing? What's the first thing I should do to it? And uh, sorry all you that were hoping for an XJ build, but I just don't have the time to uh, have a 230,000 mile daily driver. Just uh, not working out. So anyway, this will be a lot better. Thanks for watching. Wheel it, wreck it, wrench it, repeat. See you next time.